In this video, we will discuss the differences between R, the programming language, and RStudio, the integrated developer environment that most data scientists use to interface with R. Now, R is the programming language. This is going to be doing all of the heavy lifting to perform the operations of data science. When we do any operations of data science and we use R, then we have to install R and that is going to be the engine. That is going to be what drives all of these operations. However, just like driving a car, you don't drive the car from the engine. Instead, what we have is we have an integrated developer environment. This is going to be an interface that communicates with the engine, it communicates with R, but has a lot of features that allow us much more ease and flexibility, and importantly, reproducibility in data science. One very popular developer environment for the R programming language is called RStudio. So RStudio is a little bit like driving R from the comfort of the driver's seat. Next, I want to show you how we can download R and then download RStudio to begin generating this environment for you to perform data science on your computer. So let's dive in. In order to install the R programming language, the first thing you want to do is navigate to cran.r-project.org. There, you'll be able to download R for your appropriate operating system. This is important to do first. Here, we're getting our engine set. Next, you want to navigate to rstudio.com. There, you'll be able to download RStudio for your operating system. You can see that RStudio has several different software offerings, so click on RStudio under their products. There, you'll find two different versions of RStudio. You want the RStudio desktop version, so click on that. And you come down here, and you can click on Download RStudio Desktop. You can see that there are still several different versions of RStudio Desktop. The one that you'll need is the free version. Desktop Pro, Server, or Server Pro are all commercial options. You just want the individual user license, which is free. So you can click Download. And then finally, you'll be able to download the appropriate version for your operating system. So click on that, and then you'll be able to download and follow any install instructions from there. When you open RStudio for the first time, it might ask you for the name of your project. Projects within RStudio are all designated with an individual name that can't be the name of another project. You can see that I named my project here Temp. This is a temporary project. Here in the console, we can begin to experiment with some of the different things that we saw earlier in the video. So for example, if we want to assign a number to an object, let's take the, an object that's called 7, and we can assign a number to it. If we type in 7, we can then see get the number back out. But this doesn't have to be a number. This can be anything. And we can assign another number to it. And you can see that this is an object. This is going to store some values. We can then also perform a function. We said we might try to get the mean of a number. Let's get the mean of the numbers 1 through 5. This is the same as saying the mean of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Don't worry about some of this notation yet. We're again just beginning to explore about what's a number, 13 is a number, what is an object, and what is a function. So go ahead and explore a little bit in the console of your first RStudio project. Now that you've gotten both of these installed, take some time and play in the console. You can do this from the R console, or you can do this from the console within RStudio. But you can go ahead and try a couple of operations where we take a number and assign it to an object, or we can perform a simple function, a simple operation, and let's just take the mean of a couple of numbers. There are a couple of things that you can do here to play within the space to begin to understand how RStudio works and it interfaces with the programming language R.